This tutorial, you need photo, Affinity Photo, and Affinity Designer, PC or Mac. So with those, you can do most of this tutorial in photo, but if you haven't got designer, you can't do the symbol part, because symbols are not available in photo, but you can use them from designer. So let's just go over here. There's any of the shapes, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go with an ellipse. I think ellipse is a nice one, but you can use any star, whatever. And just create a very, very small design, something like that, right in the center of the document, because I wanna create a spiral design. Right, so what I can now do, I can, I've got it filled with a gradient, just go over here to the gradients. You can just add any gradient or just have it solid color. But now you've got that design. And you can see over here in the layers, and that's all the panels are all found in the view menu, studio, and all the various panels. So you've got the ellipse there. File and designer, not publisher. Don't go for publisher, edit in designer. So edit in designer, and you can see exactly the same design, and it's still called ellipse over there. You can go backwards and forwards. So with that, you can go over here to Symbols and Create, and you can find that again, View and Studio. It's fireworks outside, so if you're hearing some fireworks, that's what it is. So, Create. And now you can see what happens. The layer panel has got Symbol instead. And what you got, you got the ellipse below. So you've got Symbol there, and Ellipse has just been moved down, shifted. It's connected to that Symbol. And that's really useful, because you can modify and change Symbols and they can all change. So now we can go to back to photo. You don't need to go to designer anymore, unless you want to, of course. What you can do, file, edit in photo. And now in photo, weirdly it's not still selected, but that's a different issue. Now, what you can do, you've got this design, transform, that's really useful, because what I want to do is activate the little sort of center point. Some weird reason there doesn't seem to be a feature for showing, and please put in the comments below, if there is. I like seeing the center point. Don't know if there is a view command for that. I haven't seen it, but please put in the comments if you know, it'd be great to know. Okay, what I need to do is duplicate it. So layer and then duplicate selection. So I've got two now and they're the same, symbol, symbol. Now, once you've done that, what I can do, I can resize this just slightly, but I'm gonna use this just there, right in the center, you get a little crosshair. And you can move it just down a bit so it actually is the bar. Now, I don't know why that isn't the default. Personally, I think that should be the default. It always puts it back to the place that I don't want it. Don't want it in the center. But it just put it down at the bottom middle, just the middle bottom of that design, whatever design it is. Now, what you can do, you can rotate it. So I'm just going to rotate it. You can see now it rotates around that bottom part, which is what I want. And also, I'm going to resize it very, very subtle, very very subtle. So it's a very subtle reason. Now, what I can do, I can do exactly the same. Layer and duplicate selection. Command J or Control J. And that will just repeat it. And if it works right, it should turn into a spiral. 50-50 sometimes. Sometimes it just ignores. I don't know why, but it just ignores. But I'm just going to do it. And you can, oh, it is doing it. Whew. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I've done it and just basically ignores the power transform. But you can see as it does it, you can it increases quite rapidly. And that's why I said make it very subtle because you can see what happens. But you've got this spiral zones that go spiraling out. Now, mistake you can make, and I make it quite often, is go to the symbol. Now I would suggest go to the bottom one and change things, but don't resize the symbol. That makes no difference. Sometimes it seems to, sometimes it doesn't. But I, sometimes I'm just gonna try it now and I might be pretty wrong again. Ellipse. Just select the ellipse inside the symbol. That's the key thing. And then resize that. And as you do that, you see what happens. It all resizes. So it's actually an interactive live change in spiral. And of course you could zoom in a bit so you could see it maybe a bit better than that. But you can see now you can resize very easily. And it shows you how much the transforms, obviously you have to make it very small. And you can just resize it. You can resize it the other way as well. So you can see the spiral that way. But also what you can do, and this is the thing that design helps, by turning it into a symbol, you can do this. Now, if you resized it normally, wouldn't make any difference. So if it was just a normal ellipse, you resized it, that would make no change to the thing, design. So you need it to be a symbol to do this. That's why it's useful with the designer. 
If you haven't got a designer, I really suggest you get it because it's a great app. There's lots of great little features that you can use backwards and forwards between obviously photo and also publisher. All three are excellent together. So now with this ellipse, what you can do, you can duplicate it. And actually with that just selected down there, what I can do, I can just add some other design. So I can just say, you know what, I just want another design. Now that will be added into there. And obviously because it's so, let's just make that a bit smaller so you can actually see it. <laughs> Would help. Let's just go here and now create another design inside there. And as soon as you do that, you can see what happens. It's still live. So you can actually ed edit it and add in, say, another sphere. Or maybe you turn around and say, I don't want spheres, I don't want that. Or I want a diamond. So just go for a diamond design. So you can add design there. And you can rotate the diamond. And of course, what you can do, if you don't want, you can go to that ellipse. You can select any of them, any of those designs, maybe the first one, and remove it. Just press delete. Just delete the original one. Doesn't need, it's not needed, and it's still live. So you can still continue to modify it. And it might make it easier actually, because once you've got the spiral design, you can then of course add your, and other things as well. Other layers can be used, anything can be used. Maybe a brush stroke or something used as a layer. Could use that. Don't see reason why not. And you can just do, see you can create with a triangle. Maybe add another triangle there. And of course you can still, you obviously have, Got the wrong angle particularly, but you can rotate it and decide, you know what, I like that angle better than another one. Or maybe change the colour. So you've got I'm being using fill. So I'm just let's just remove this. I can say, oh, you know what? Let's just that. Just go up here. If it lets me colour, maybe make it into red. And then of course what I can do, I can turn around and say, yeah, let's go for ellipse again and just put it over here. Maybe make that obviously red make that blue something like that so you can make all kinds of designs and also of course what you can do go over here to the fx click there and then you can turn around and say well i want to blur them all all of them can be blurred though obviously the red one that is or maybe not because personally i think that would probably slow it down but what you can do you can go for 3d that probably slows it down as well so you can see now you can create a nice 3d effect there and you've got your design and of course, what you can also do is you can convert them to curves. You've got here an option to convert to curves. And once you've done that, of course, what you can then do is you've got this option. You go over here to the node tool and you can see the nodes. And as you do that, your spiral, you can actually change the spiral that way. And again, you can resize it, make it a bit smaller. And so on and so on. So you can do a whole range of different designs using this approach. Create all kinds of different spiral designs which obviously you can make more or less complicated. And of course you can, now if I just go to Navigator, you can zoom out and you can see the spiral goes off out a fair amount, probably goes out further than the document. And you can modify it again. Well, hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please put in the comments below. Always appreciated. Thank you much.